Cosmo here, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how you can win your next SCA State competition. If you've ever wanted to cook a state competition, let me get you up to speed. And it all starts with steak selection. Now, at an SCA state competition, you're not allowed to touch the steaks, and you only got 30 seconds to pick them out. Now, I typically go for a steak that has a ton of intramuscular fat. And if you want to see the other side, you can always request that they pick the steak up and show you the other side. Now for trimming, I keep it super simple. I always whack the little tail off the end and just kind of trim the fat up around the edges and then get her tied up and ready to go. Now after I get them tied up, there's one of two things you can do here. You can either salt brine or you can do a marinade. I've done both and I actually like both, but it all depends on the meat. If it's super tender already, I'm gonna do a marinade. If it's tough, I'm gonna do a salt brine. And just so you know, if I do go the salt brine method, I'll marinate it after I rinse it off anyway. But that's enough out of me. Let's go out and get this fire lit and get to cooking. All right, so we got our salt brine steak right here. We're gonna pull her out, get her seasoned up. We got our extra steak out of that pack. And then we have our brine, or not brine, <laughs> our marinated steak. Shake her off a little bit. Wipe it off a little bit. Yep. We're gonna season these just like this, the way I season them. That's gotta be loud. All right, so we're gonna season them up, and uh, this is the way I've seasoned all my competition steaks. If you want to check out that video, we'll have a link down in the description. Go over there, check it out. How I won ten thousand dollars. How I won a world champion. All the all the videos. We'll have them down in the description. Go down there, click on one. It'll show you this recipe. A little bit of cow cover, and we're gonna season these the exact same way. What I say, the exact. The exact same way. A little bit of dirty bird hot. Good stuff. Texas beef, boy. This is where you're gonna get that crust. That nice crust, son. Now I have a feeling this this tie is gonna come off during the cook, but that's okay. We'll just get rid of it now. This one, this was actually, if I was gonna you know, turn one in, this is the one I turn in. Okay, I'll cover the other side. Dirty bird hot. All right, there we go. Now, the side that I want to turn in is going to be the side I always have the top. That's going to be the side I put down first and I focus on my, my sear marks. And yeah, I'm going to look, use a little bit of duck fat here. Remember, this is for competition. Quit being a crybaby. Sounds like you're a crybaby. I know, I do get a little butt hurt when people rag on me down in the comments, but I quit reading them though. We're gonna get you a, uh, what? we're gonna get you a shirt or a hat, yeah. a crown. You're hurting my feelings? You're, little, you're a comment. <laughs> quit it, quit it, you're hurting my feelings. Comment queen. All right, we got our butter up here, and a, uh, this is a nice little butter melter. Dude, I'm ready when you are. You ready? You ready to rock one of these? I'm ready. Ready? I got my stopwatch. All right, I'm gonna start with this little fat dude right here first. Give it a little, a little light grease. And I always let that grease heat up for a second. All right, here we go, you ready? One, two, three. Oh yeah. Don't be afraid to shoot that other side. Start. Shut the lid. I always do the first one about a minute and 15, minute 20 seconds. I thought of everything. I know. What? This is everything you need. You got everything. This, you no, need. you. This, everything is right here. I did everything but wipe your butt. I know, you did. I appreciate you so much, Wes. 
It sucks that you're leaving though. I'm already gone. I know, technically, by the time you guys see this video, Wes has already went on to bigger and better things in his life and his career, and I wish him the best. I am kind of pissed off about it, but hey, man. Guys, I'm starting a barbecue company. Head over there and <laughs> check out my channel. Starting a barbecue channel. <laughs> Reset, there we go. Minute 20. Now we're gonna turn this. I like to kind of, oh, don't wanna do that. Clean them little dilly wickers off. Let my butter heat up. Oh, my duck fat, I'm sorry. We slide that off, we'll do it again. All right, start. So we're on this, the, the second rotation, 30 seconds in. Now here's the deal. When I open this thing up, I'm gonna obviously clean it off, let my grill grates heat up again, and then I'm gonna flip it, and then I'm gonna butter that top side. I like that. I like the booter. Is that how you say it? That's how uh, Paula Dean says it, booter. 55 seconds. Hey, this is, hey, SCA, man, you gotta be pow, 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 on the mark. All righty. Yeah. He's living on the edge over there. I know, this always scares me. I'm right handed. I, I'm scared I'm gonna, you know, somebody's gonna say something, I'm gonna dump it. Yep, let them heat up. Oh, you ready? Let's see what we got. Let's see the goodness. Ooh -wee. Talk to me, Goose. Now, I'll just use this little guy to push him down. Woo, he looks pretty. All right, just live. Let's keep on rocking and a rolling. Now this is where our little little steak grate, what do you call it? Steak shelf. Steak shelf is gonna come in handy. Cause we got some pretty nice marks going here. But when I tip this thing, I bet you it's not even close. I bet you it's about 10, I'll go 104, 104. So this is the exact opposite method I use to cook steaks at home. I indirect until 100 and then get my, and I just go straight for the, the total sear. So on this one, we're getting the marks, the visual, and then we'll go indirect for the internal temp. Coming up on one minute 15, 120, I'm gonna hit stop, reset, count to two, one, two, here we go. All right, I'm gonna put my little steak dilly whacker shelf in there. Cause I want it to heat up. Yeah, that's a good looking steak, son. I'm just telling you right now. I know this is a lot of work. And hey, and if you can do this at home too, you never know. You might get a little booger. What's booger mean? <laughs> a little brown chicken brown cow. Oh. Boom, a little booter. Oh yeah, come on baby. I just drizzle it. I'm not trying to wipe it on there. Maybe dull up the edges just a little bit. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Boom. All right, so we're at 120. that butter leak off. I'm going to put him right here. I'm going to go on the left. 127. 104. 102. 106. That's close. Forget. What do we do, boys and girls? We clean off their grates. And we hit them with a little duck fat. Close the lid. Now at this point, I've already got my grill marks. I really like 127. That's what it was when I won the World State Championship back in 2015. So I'm gonna be picking 120, 
127. Might as well. Let's go ahead and stick with it. Ha <laughs> Shaka! Let's see what we got. Twenty one, one nineteen, one eleven. She's coming up slow. She's coming up slow. Slow burn. It's a, a normally what I do is I get it about seven hundred degrees on this one, but you wanna you, hey this is that even cook. What I normally do is get it about seven hundred degrees and then it's about a minute minute twenty aside. Or minute twenty, turn, minute twenty, flip, do the same thing. And usually you don't make it to that last one. But, you know, I understand how this is getting more of the smoke flavor on there. I'll probably let it run for another another couple minutes or another couple, probably about 45 more seconds. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pan it, seal it, get doing it again. So I'm cooking this second steak and the one adjustment I did make is I went from a minute 20 to a minute 45 and this is gonna do two things. It's gonna A, give you better grill marks and B, it's gonna get me closer to that final temperature so it doesn't have to sit on that shelf and just cook from one side near as long, if any at all. All right, so after I let them set for just a little bit, and I put them together, I'm not afraid. It's turn-in time, and this is a tight window. Always make sure you get the string. The string is not your friend. Yep, get her going. I wish I had some turn-in boxes, but from there you just pick it up, put it in your turn-in box, and go from there. But for us, we're going to pull them out and cut them up. So as you can tell from these, they look freaking uh, amazing. Nailed it. Now, uh, let me tell you, let me just walk through you what I like about the first one and what I like about the second one. What I like about the first one is we still got good grill marks. We still got top-notch grill marks. It's cooked to perfection. But it's set inside the smoke just a little bit longer, so it's gonna have a little bit more of that flavor. What I like about the second one is, is the grill marks are really pronounced. It's still cooked to perfection, but it probably may have a little bit less of the charcoal flavor because it spent less time in there. So it's kind of a wash, you know, if you can, if you like, you know, the grill marks that you're getting and cooking it on the, uh, on the, the, the steak shelf, you know, steak A. If you like the second one, then the second one. But I say let's just jump into tasting them and see how we did. I'm going straight for this guy, this Spinalis. I'm just going to take it right off of there. Because this is, this is the best part. Steak A. It does have a, a very pronounced that charcoal flavor which I love. But well, let's try steak B. You know, I gotta be honest with you. If I was tasting these, I would pick steak B because I like that crust. And then the crust flavor on this one was way better than the first one. So there you have it. Hey, thank you for watching. If you love what we're doing here, smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.